In this video, we're going to talk about the EAS compressor. Now, a couple of sensors interact with the compressor and the EAS computer to determine when it's appropriate to run the compressor. The EAS computer has a pressure switch that it relies upon to uh, trigger the compressor, and it also has an overtemp, a temperature sensor that it relies upon to trigger the compressor. Now, if either of those two sensors are faulty, then the EAS computer will never actually will never actually trigger will never actually tr attempt to trigger or run this compressor. The compressor will just simply stay here, completely dormant the entire time. Now, um, this is a situation where the compressor is actually working properly. The compressor can be triggered manually. You can trigger the compressor using the uh, fuse block jumper method or the EAS unlock software will you can trigger the compressor and it runs properly but during normal operation what's happening is the compressor is just simply refusing to run and in this short video I'm going to show you how to test the over temp sensor to make sure it's functioning properly and the pressure sensor if either of those two sensors are faulty the EAS computer will see no reason to run the compressor and the compressor will just simply stay dormant under normal operation for this test, you need a little bit of knowledge about electronics and uh, the use of a multimeter. Today I'm going to use uh, this Fluke multimeter. It's a very simple Fluke multimeter. It has a continuity tester or any multimeter that has a resistance meter will work just fine. For our first test, we're going to test the overtemp sensor. And as I said before, if the overtemp sensor has failed, the EAS computer will never actually attempt to run the compressor because it thinks it's overheated when it's actually not. The overtemp sensor is inside the compressor, but we can we can test it um, by working with this plug right here. And this plug is this is very easily removed off of that tab, and then you can simply open it up. Once it's open, we're going to be testing two wires. We're testing the orange wire and the black wire. And we can test those two wires on the face of this plug here. If you're looking at the face of this plug, it's this bottom left-hand corner terminal and this upper right-hand corner terminal. We'll test the continuity between those two. Now, for this test, we've set the meter um, for resistance and continuity. And it's this uh, this voltmeter will actually beep when the uh, when there is a closed circuit, uh, when there is no resistance in a closed circuit. So for this test, we also need the compressor to be cold. Uh, what we're doing is we're testing the function of the overtemp sensor, and we don't want the compressor to be hot, where it actually might be signaling an overtemp. You want the compressor to be cold, the engine compartment to be cold, let it sit, you know, for overnight before you do this. So we're simply going to test the continuity between this bottom left and upper right, the black and the orange wires. And you see I have zero resistance, which is good. It's a closed circuit. That's actually what you want. Now, if in the cold state you actually got a resistance across these these, these two terminals, if you have um, yeah, if you have an open circuit here, high resistance, that means that your overtemp sensor has failed. In the cold condition, you want a closed circuit, no resistance. If you have an open circuit with high resistance, your overtemp sensor is faulty and needs to be replaced.